guys, looks like we're back here, uh, episode number 11. Uh, let's see how far we have to go to kill these ghouls. Uh, it doesn't say, maybe it's not on our quest list. Ah, okay. So they went that way. Alright, so this guy, he's got a lead on the people that uh, tried to kill me or whatever. So we are going to help him out. Yeah, that's what I figured. It would be right over there. So we're going to help him out. Hopefully he's got some information for us. Takes us to another town or whatever. Um, so I heard, well, I actually read that there is uh, like follow, like kind of like in Skyrim, how you can get followers in this game. Um, are there a bunch of those or... Is it just like, is it just a couple that you can get? Because I've heard that you can download, oh, we want to get away from that. Okay, gotcha. So I heard that you can like download some that are pretty cool and like have their own storylines and all that kind of stuff, but, well, here we go. Right in his eyeball. Alright, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. One shot and fools in the head. My favorite thing in the world. So, yeah. Are there a bunch of followers? Or is it just, like, only a couple that you can get? And when do I get those? Because I assume I won't get one for, like, a while. Because it's still really early in the game. But... If I can get one like sooner rather than later, I kind of want to know about. It. And I heard the AI is terrible and it'll like get in your way and do stuff you don't really want it to. So cool. So let me know if it's even worth it to actually get them, and I will. Either do it or not do it. There is a bunch of ammo here. Too easy. Too easy out here. There's a lot of shit here. Sell it, I'll take it with me. Ooh, first aid box. Yeah, we take that. Alright, so this seems like a oh, looks like you can just go up there on top of maybe we'll do that on our way back. Okay, so here's the rocket yard and there's also this big plant. So I'm gonna almost assume that we're going up there for sure. I don't know what that is either. That's kind of cool. Alright, so maybe... Damn, they spotted me that early? Maybe I just need to stop dealing with the... Uh, the sneak stuff, because... I heard that it's not really that viable... in this game. Alright, maybe we'll just pop this through a couple times. Oh, his eyeballs literally fell out of his head. Oh. Damn, these things are... Oh, let me tell you this. Here's the, uh, here's the trivia of this episode. So... I don't know, well, obviously you guys don't know this, but like I listen to like a lot of audiobooks, and probably the most terrifying thing to me is like zombies. I don't know what it is exactly, but like animals and like ghosts and that kind of stuff doesn't scare me at all. But the fact that like maybe some freaking, I don't know what those are, but the fact that maybe some 
people could eat other people just kind of like I don't know what the, I don't know why that's terrifying to me so that's what is what's the scariest thing like I don't know either in a book or a movie or a video game like it doesn't matter if it's a video game if it's a movie anything I don't know what it is about like zombies and I feel like these ghouls directly represent zombies for some reason and that, they just kind of scare me not like directly scare me but it's just I don't know. I just, I just think it's creepy. And I don't, I don't know why. But what do you? That's your trivia question. What do? What is D1 Snipe scared of? Like a little girl. And I'm just gonna tell you, it's fucking zombies. I hate zombies. I don't. That's the weird thing is I don't hate them. I just think it's so. They literally just fascinate me. Like me and my girlfriend were talking about this other day, and like how she was, she thinks I'm weird because, like I'm not really scared of anything except zombies. Like zombies just are one thing that get to me for some reason, and I ca I cannot figure it out honestly. All right, I cannot. These laser guns must be ass against zombies. I'm gonna leave that one there because these fools ain't done shit about it. Even though I might try it. But I'm this whole building's gonna be full of zombies. Hey! And I oh here. shit. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Like I said, not <laughs> like I said. Big room. Metal staircase. <laughs> Get moving. Damn, what the fuck is this? Ah, that's where those rebar clubs are coming from. So this looks like ammo for the, uh... Oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna pop this full couple times. And then switch guns. Dude, this game glitchy as hell sometimes. If this, I don't think this game uses the uh, I don't th or this gun. Sorry, I don't think this gun uses the uh, five five six ammo. And if that's the case, I'm gonna be really sad because the the gun should use the five five six ammo. Should. I don't know, maybe I should bust out the shotgun, but I am going to try this freaking uh, laser gun real quick. Uh, Alright, well, it's not the greatest gun in the world, but it looks like... Alright, I think there's some zombies on the other side there, but I don't care. But it looks like it's got the most ammo right now. That's important. So, big metal staircase right side. Since there's plenty of ammo here. There's that stuff that homie was talking about. I don't want any reds. Sorry, this looks I don't like that notification. If there's any way I can turn that off, let me know. Important here. Alright, I guess I'm going the right way. Alright, so probably not this way. Probably in here, maybe? Check the store real quick. I know there's some ghouls in here. Wow, what what is a ghoul? Is it just like a person that's too much radiation or what? Because I'm not really sure.
got him. Tough. Sorry, homie. Looks like I'm supposed to just get, keep going up, maybe. <laughs> Sorry if it looks awkward. Like my uh, playing on a keyboard and mouse is not really my thing, but I really wanted to make sure the graphics and everything looked as good as they possibly could. So this is that's what I did. Fifty to do an average lock. Holy shit! Oh, this one's easy. Oh. There's gotta be something cool in here. Wonder blue. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I was allowed to come in here. Oh. Okay, so maybe just some, uh, damn it, why can't I get out of here, okay. Alright, so this doesn't really look that important to me, still, still not exactly sure where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Check the old local map. Research labs. Okay, so back in this far corner, it looks like. This is where I'm supposed to go. Maybe through this door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not even going to be able to hit this full. Cap is right low, maybe. Oh, straight smoke that fool's knee. Yeah, no wonder these guys got rid of their laser guns. I mean, this thing has a shitload of ammo. But to be honest with you, I am not a fan. It doesn't. I don't know what's over there. We're going upstairs. We're going to try to save this fool, whether it gets us killed or not. I don't know. Hopefully not. This isn't as scary as I thought it would be. Now, I've heard this game is not as bad with it, but I've heard that Fallout 3 has some freaking atmosphere. Like, crazy. Like, there's some places that you can go that are just kind of really freaking creepy. So that's. All right. I don't know if I want to play that game or not. Cause you watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. It's just I don't know. This game I've heard doesn't have near as much atmosphere to God, it. But are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. What the hell is your problem, homie? Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time. All right, all right. Jesus, I want to cap this fool. Hmm. Oh, I think he said upstairs, didn't he? Or no? Yeah, he definitely said upstairs. I must be underneath him. Hey. What the fuck? Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Uh, our true home awaits us in the far beyond. I'm Have lost. you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, and they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those yeah. ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. 
and now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of Please, wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare, once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany The That's demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible, or one of them said they set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such the rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress to but now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across the sea. What the fuck? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Uh, uh... You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. The means by which the Great Journey is to be accomplished. Yes, it went on for hours, and will you drive away the demon? Sure, you know. Praise the Creator. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons. I tell you what, man. I love Bethesda so much because you have no idea what kind of crazy shit you're gonna do in a game, and I honestly love it. So make sure you guys uh, sub, like, share, all that good stuff. Because we are going to the basement, apparently. And we're going to fight some demons in the next episode, number 11. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.